Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Rob with Extreme Boating and spring season bass fishing is upon us. So some of you are going to be pulling your boat out of winterization, quite a few of you actually, and you might want to do some checks before you pull your boat out and put it into the water. I was having some issues with the steering system and I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. I couldn't cock the wheel over to the right but I could turn it over to the left pretty easily. So I'll show you how to fix that potential issue you might be having with the steering system. This is year three of this boat existing since it was made. So yeah, I'm gonna run into some issues. I had about eight solid months of performance with it until I started encountering the issues and it just started happening out of nowhere. Couldn't figure it out for a while till I finally got deep in there and started looking. So I'll show you how to fix your issue if you're having the same issue I'm having with a simple pair of small channel locks and some waterproof grease. This is just standard Bell Ray stuff. Okay, so the reason why your outboard is making noise while you turn it and it's hard to steer is because there's actually a dry wiper seal that's located inside of this nut. So what you need to do is just take this nut off This is probably good for me to check anyways because I did this a while ago and it may have dried up since. Okay. Yep, here we are. So as you can see the nuts off, right? We got the o-ring itself. This is what's going to be dry and actually may wind up back here. So you might actually wind up seeing that right there and you're gonna find that when you try and move it, it's like super frozen. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your grease and you're basically just gonna run it all along the O-ring, turn the O-ring as you do it bit by bit. And then I actually added a little bit of grease right after this plastic collar right here. I added it right here to kind of ensure like a, a nice lubricated slide on the on the actual shaft itself then after you're done with that you're going to go ahead and turn the outboard a few times turn it left and right make sure you get that grease good up in there and then once you're done with that you go ahead and slide all that back in like so tighten that up Get that on there pretty good. Just don't over tighten it because you will crack the ring. It is a plastic, it is a plastic uh, ring. So just give it a nice extra quarter turn and you are good to go. And as you can see, after doing the work, the shaft is super clean and dry. The wiper is doing its job. The seal is doing its job. So thanks for your time, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Tight lines, and I'll see you next time.